Hi Kim, this is for you, a uh, lion drawing. Um, try not to be teachy teachy. Um, see if uh, I can just do one and uh, hopefully that'll help you out with some tricks and stuff. So you have the lion on here. And the wonderful thing about a computer is you can zoom in if you want to check in the detail a bit closer, which is really handy. So what's just draw? Maybe just getting a feel for the whole animal all at once, some ears, some hairdo, that shape that I liked, his nose, and a smile here. Forgotten how to do a gestural drawing. There, a bit of gestural. So it can be very swoopy, swoopy, swoopy. So in the more technical realm, you want to be measuring. You see artists sometimes measuring with a pencil, holding it up. For example, I make this lion from top to bottom that length. Then I look at the picture and find what is halfway. That's the hole. Halfway is just above his nose. So I might plot that in there. And then there's a triangle up to the eyes. Where do the eyes go? Let's find out what's a quarter of the way, it's sort of his ears, maybe. This is sort of the mechanical way of plotting it out, and then as you get more confident, you can just see more accurately. Maybe you don't have to do this so mechanically. So the bottom of the ears come across, and the top of the eyes come across where the bottom of the ears are, and that's the nose, about halfway, I think, halfway in between, so if that's quarter, then the mouth comes in about here. I mean, once you get drawing, of course, then you can change, change what's going on. And this probably means that bottom of the chin is about there and then there goes the beard that I quite love. Okay, so the mouth is here. So constantly just looking and correcting, looking and correcting. So the sides of the mouth, sort of drawing them in, but the sides of the mouth are actually um, below the eyes, so yeah, about there, about there, the edges of the mouth, so then you can plot there, sort of hold the shape, turn up a bit, he's got a bit of a grin going on, probably thinking how tasty the photographer looks, top of the nose, comes to the top of these nostrils, so about there, about there, of it there. And he's got where his whiskers are, those little dots where the whiskers are. So go again, dots one. Don't necessarily have to count them, but in the spirit of learning some sort of plotting of accuracy. That's probably incorrect. Haha. <laughs> okay, some whiskers. I mean, the, 
you're drawing it for yourself anyway, I presume, not some big job or something. So let's just play the contrast. Remember to get some dark, confident lines in there eventually. Just when you're plotting, you want to change things around. You might not want to commit. I'm getting a bit focused on this nose. So let's go up. Put the eyes kind of here, so let's just double check. That's about right. And the eyes come up. I'm never sure actually what the eye shape is. It's very good to have a photograph and just really try and find out what this eye is doing. To actually draw when I've got the camera at an angle. I'm sort of drawing a, at an angle myself here. So. Just watch the shading. See where it's dark, just start putting in, mimicking what's dark, what's light. Okay, we have some layers uh, here. This is where his name gets. Fabulous. So uh, yeah, where are these ears? So how do we plot? Again, measuring um, distances. So the distance between the eyes, similar to the distance to the ears. So let's trust that that's right. And where's the top of the ears? It's an angle here. Try and copy that angle, how it is. Let's see if we can figure this out. Got a 
whopping ears. Big ears. drawing them and see how we can manage and we notice there's this sort of peak shape of his brow so we can mimic that and the ears this one is actually a little higher than the other one and how far out is it it's about this where the hair comes down. Doesn't look like a line yet. It didn't really look. Um, let's see. Some dark here. Some dark. Some contrast. This is his ear lid in his ear there. Fighting tiger. Tiger. Lion. person with a shirt on right now. Not quite what I was going for, but uh, let's see. It's another teardrop marking that they have. The thing is, if you keep copying what you're seeing in the photograph, Eventually, it translates. In front of your face into a lion. A lion tiger, as I seem to be thinking it is right now. Okay, so now I'm sort of trying to make it look like the beauty it is. Dodging around, I've got things plotted down, and now it's really just starting to play with the features. Not doing so well on that part there, but it's okay. So just to keep the video short, that starts you off. Keep going here. And that's uh, Mr. Lion. His ears have got a lot of work to do, and they? I seem to forget. I'm trying to get the video finished. Don't like his ears. That one's not so bad. I hope this uh, helps you uh, get going on your uh, lion adventure, Kim. Thanks for asking me to do a drawing.